The holiday season is a crazy time of year. There's Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, not to mention going home, seeing family, and buying presents for whichever holiday you celebrate. But one more thing that happens during the holiday season is that users of Spotify get their wrapped. Spotify Wrapped is a campaign started by Spotify in 2015, where at the end of the year, Spotify aggregates each of their users' listening history using their data lake and gives them a presentation with all of their top songs, artists, and genres. Wrapped is constantly trending and filled with my social media feed every year to the point that others have come up with their own unique ways to do Wrapped. So on December 1st, Spotify launches its end of year rap campaign. Spotify does this thing where they send everyone like they're listening to history for the past year. And I think it's brilliant. A student at Carnegie Mellon, Michelle Liu, came up with Proceedify that puts your top songs on a receipt. And when I saw this, I thought it was really awesome. And I figured I'd want to learn a way to do the same. Consequently, today we're going to talk through how we can build Receipify in only three steps. We'll 1. Build a Flask app, 2. Integrate our app with Spotify login so our users can authorize the application to use their data, and 3. Display your user's listening history on our receipt and output it to the user. Let's get to it. Cool, so for starters, just make an empty app.py in whatever directory you want. I created the Receipify Flask directory. Um, and then I'm going to start with the boilerplate uh, Flask Hello World code. So if you just run Flask Run, um, we can go to uh, localhost and we can see it's working. Um, and then next, we're going to need to create some routes because what we're going to want to be doing um, is go to a certain page, ask Spotify to log us in. Spotify is going to request to send us to a redirect page and then give us the token at that page and then send us to our receipt page where we can then display the information. So the pages that we're going to need are just the home page, login, um, the redirect page, and our receipt page. So we're going to need a couple more inputs from Flask. Uh, one is something that'll just format your URLs so we don't always have to use like a hard URL like 127.0.0.1. It'll like know your domain and then do your routing that way. Um, another is like session so we can make a session for our user and we'll talk through this. And the other one, render template, is going to help us render Flask templates once we start building those. Um, so the last piece is we're going to need uh, some stuff from the Spotify API. Uh, we're going to need uh, Spotify and then we're just going to import this object from spotify.oauth, which is Spotify OAuth. So now, in order to use these, we need to actually make credentials for our application to tell the Spotify API that like, we're authorized to actually use the API in the first place. Um, so go over to the developer console. You can create a new app. Um, I'm going to call mine YouTube Receivify. You can make the description whatever you want. Uh, I'll make it uh, get data to put on receipt and then say, I understand. This will create it. And now the two things that we're gonna need are the client ID and the client secret. So I'm gonna make this section defining cons. And here's the client secret. Eventually, so so make sure not to show these to anyone because if you show them to anyone, they'll be able to pretend to be your application and use the API all they want. Um, I'll make sure to delete this. And eventually, the other thing we're going to need is explain to us the Spotify API um, what uh, redirect URL we're using and authorize, yes, you can send us to this redirect URI um, and this is where we can do our callback to actually get our token. So I'm going to speed through this section because it took eight minutes and no one has time for that. But now that you have your client ID and secret, you can make a Spotify OAuth object in your login method with your client ID and secret, your redirect URI, which is the page you want to redirect to that's written down in your app under edit settings, redirect URIs. Mine was 127.0.0.1 at 45,000 slash redirect page because I'm running from localhost and your scope, which is the information you want to request from your user. 
um, then you can get the auth URL at that object dot get auth URL and redirect to that page, which will redirect you back to your redirect page and then give you a code that can be accessed at request.args.getCode. And using that, you'll be able to get a Spotify auth token. Um, just make sure to store that somewhere and then redirect yourself to the receipt page. And then you'll be able to make uh, calls to the Spotify API. Cool. Let's get back to the live coding. So now in the receipt page, we can get our token and make an API call. So let's confirm that this works. We get redirected to our receipt page. Um, so what we're going to need to do is get our token. And then to do that, we can just uh, like make some type of function. So like user token equals get token. And then in this, we're going to make this pretty simple. Um, and then we can make this more complicated later to try to like refresh your token or do something like that. So we don't always have to have the user signing in. Um, all we have to do here in this get token is just say that our token info is equal to our session dot get um, our token info constant um, none. And then we can just return our token info. So now that we have our user token, all we're going to need to be doing is just creating, uh, or we got our token, so we need to create a Spotify object. So say Spotify equals Spotify dot Spotify. It's gonna want me to pass in my token um, and that's at uh, index, uh, so user token auth auth, and that's at index access token. So now we can just make a call to the API. So uh, we can get a certain term, so like user, uh, so like let's say like user songs, user top songs equals uh, sp.current user top tracks. And then we need to put in some arguments here. Limit is 10 offset is zero, and then we can say medium, short term, or long term. And let's just start out with uh, medium term because that's what the API recommends. So now let's return the string of our user top songs and see if this works. And um, if this does work, it actually puts songs in items. So this will hopefully give us less information than everything. So let's go and see if this works. Um, oh, and it looks like it does, uh, or like name, let's see. So like Kate Bollinger, Eternal Slowdown. So these are like Brad Stank. These are things I've listened to. So now all we're going to need to do next is just render um, a Flask template where we put these in some type of receipt and then we're good to go. Cool, so now all we're gonna need to do is just render two Flask templates uh, one's going to be on our index page, um, and then that's going to have a button that will log us in with Spotify and send us to a receipt page, which will display the top current user tracks. So all we're going to need to do is use this last uh, um, unused import, which is render template. And the way we do uh, templates in Flask is that we make a templates folder. So um, add a folder, templates. Um, and then the file name is going to be index.html. Uh, I have some boilerplate code for the index.html. Um, and it's just going to say uh, this is receiptify. And then it'll have a button that will send us to the login page. Um, so let's make sure that this sends us to our receipt page and make our receipt page very quickly. Um, receipt.html. And just for uh, for now, we're going to put in the same exact page that we used for the index page, take out the button, and put in a paragraph saying this is the receipt page. So right now we have this render template in the uh, hello world, but let's put this uh, down on our receipt route. So now that this says receipt, let's say flash around and see if this works. So login with Spotify, and it sends us to our receipt page. Awesome. So now what we're going to need to do is take the user's top tracks. Um, as you can see in this render template, you can pass in keyword arguments to uh, any template. 
So we're gonna pass in our user top songs and then style this behind some receipt paper. I'm gonna code this up really quickly because it's gonna be like a significant amount more of code and I'll get right back. Cool, so all that I changed here is that I added uh, the short-term, medium-term, and long-term call to the Spotify API so we can get our short-term tracks, our medium-term top tracks, and our long-term tracks. And then I sent that into the receipt uh, template uh, with as keyword args. And then in my receipt template, um, all I did here was I created this show content uh, like JavaScript function. So we'll have three buttons where I'll show you one receipt at a single time. Um, and then what I'll do here uh, is I'll call, uh, it's called like a Jinja macro, but Jinja is just the flavor of HTML that you see here. Um, and it basically is a function that helps me keep this code very simple. Cause if you see like my only code is basically here and then I'm just calling receipt with the information I need. So uh, I have my short term receipt, my medium term receipt and my long term receipt. Um, and I call this receipt container macro um, and then the macro is just a way uh, for me to uh, pass in this info, the songs info, um, the ID and the duration. Um, and then I can loop over the songs um, and then I can display the song name, uh, the duration, things like that, um, and put it on this receipt paper. Uh, because I needed the receipt paper and this barcode here, um, I put this in like a couple boilerplate styles. Um, so I have this like background image uh, of the receipt paper um, and this makes it look like really nice. Um, so yeah, now uh, that's pr that pretty much it. So if you run this, you can see uh, we have this like cuter login with Spotify button. Um, it'll log us in and then I'll have these three buttons. It'll show my short term, medium term, and long term songs. Um, yeah, so, so that's pretty much uh, it. A huge shout out to Michelle Liu for the idea behind this video. Um, she inspired me to make I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it yet, either like Wordify or Crosswordify, where I take uh, your top Spotify songs and put it in a crossword. Um, so I'll put the link for that down below. I think it's probably gonna be like wordify.erictor.com. I'm also gonna host uh, this project at receipify.erictor.com um, and put it on my GitHub. So just let me know if you have any questions and feel free to comment any like feedback or questions you have down below. Happy to be back on YouTube uh, and hope for a lot more videos in 2022. Cool. Have a good one, guys. Peace.